Now, it's like something out of a Star Wars movie. Yes, very topical. And Kiwis are at the forefront. Two Wellington entrepreneurs are trumpeting inventing the world's first interactive hologram. It can customise a car or a couch right in front of your eyes before you buy it. James Ransley checked it out. This could well be the way of the future. Holographic images that people can change with the click of a button. If you were to go to a car dealership, you can literally play with a holographic car. You can change your colours, change the wheels, um, basically build out your car the, the way that you ideally want it. Yeah. It's the brainchild of Neville Rodder and Chris Mather, who joined forces at this creative hub in downtown Wellington. So we showed it for the first time at our office Christmas party and people went absolutely nuts and started taking pictures with it. The duo knew they were onto something, so spent the next four weeks tweaking their prototype for today's big launch. We're sleep deprived. Holograms were once the far-fetched stuff of science fiction films. Until recent years when we started seeing some of music's biggest names brought back to life. The King of Pop making a special appearance at last year's Billboard Music Awards. Even the news is doing it. Let's see if we can uh, beam him in now. Here we go. Neville Rodder says Te Papa National Museum is interested in their interactive technology. It's in um, bringing exhibits to life, which you could bring bears or fish or, you know, um, bugs, bug exhibits to life, uh, extinct animals that tell stories. We see storytelling being a huge part of this as an education tool. The plan from here on out is to use projectors where you can make it as big as you want, basically. These entrepreneurs projecting a new way for holographic technology. James Ransley, One News.